This is microwave peanut brittle. It turns out perfect every time. And boy, is it good. You're gonna parch some peanuts first though because they're not gonna get parched in the microwave. So you're gonna use a cup of peanuts. These are raw peanuts, okay? Um, sometimes they're hard to find in the grocery store, raw peanuts that are already shelled. But I have a wonderful source on Amazon and they're so fresh and delicious. So if you need a place to get your peanuts and you're gonna use them for parching peanuts for the holidays and for peanut brittle and candies, then I suggest you use the link on the post. We're gonna get these in the oven and we're going to parch these at 350 degrees for eight minutes. That is our microwave peanut brittle in our third cookbook. The peanut brittle is on one side and the microwave peanut brittle is on the other side. Uh, we're gonna start mixing it up. We're, you're gonna need a half a cup of butter. You're gonna need a half cup of light corn syrup. You're gonna need a batter bowl to cook it in the microwave because it's going to, I just like having a batter bowl. I guess you could use a regular bowl as long as it's microwavable. We're putting this corn syrup in. Half cup of corn syrup. Make sure you get it all. Okay. Now it says we're going to use a cup of granulated sugar. Cup of sugar. Get you some good sugar, which is finely, let's see, I, I believe Dixie Crystals is, extra fine granulated. When you make candy, any kind of candy, try to use a sugar that says it's extra fine. Then you don't have huge sugar crystals that you gotta wait on to melt. Okay, you're gonna need a cup of this. One cup. We're gonna add just a dash of salt. And um, I did not put that on the other recipe that's on the other side, but I do tell you to use salted butter, so you're gonna get some salt in with your sweet, and that's the main thing. So I'm just gonna mix this up and we are going to add the peanuts as soon as they're finished parching. But go ahead and mix this up good in your bowl, whatever you're gonna microwave it in. All right, I got some butter, and you're gonna take a cookie sheet, I'm just using a sheet pan, and you're gonna butter it good to pour your candy out on. So just make sure you get this good and buttered so that um, it don't stick. And as soon as those parched peanuts are ready, we're gonna get this in the microwave and it's gonna be so good, y'all. All right, our peanuts just came out of the oven. They are parched and they smell really good. You should be able to smell them. They should smell a little bit like peanut butter. You're gonna get them in here. We are going to get this mixed up and in the microwave. So we're gonna mix this up good and then we're gonna microwave it on four minutes. We're gonna microwave it more than that, but the first um, cycle, I guess you could call it a phase, is four minutes. We're gonna stir it, microwave it again. All right, get it in the microwave on high. Four minutes. I sure do love peanut brittle. This has only got 20 seconds left, and then we're gonna stir it. So it's been in there four minutes. This is so easy to make. And many of y'all go buy it. This year make your own peanut brittle. Smells good already. We don't even have the vanilla and butter in there yet. Now the reason I like using a batter bowl, for one, it has a handle that don't get too hot. It is, it is pretty warm because this is gonna get super hot before, the next time I take this out, I will have to get something to grab this with. Right now it's not that hot. 
But a batter bowl also um, is tall, and so many times things don't boil over that would typically want to boil over. So you're just gonna get this out, stir it. Try not to splatter it all up on the sides of the bowl. Try to, you know, keep your spatula down in the sugar part because you don't want any sugar granules way up on the top of the bowl. All right. The next time I stir this, I'm not gonna use the spoon anymore because it does have sugar granules on it. I don't tell you that in the directions, but, and with peanut brittle, it may not matter so much, but just in case, four more minutes. It smells like peanut butter in here, don't it? it? Smells so good. I wish y'all had smell vision. Woo, I gotta get me something, like I said. Don't wanna get burnt. So this time, you're gonna be able to tell that the sugar is turning brown, so it's really getting done. A butter, yum. And a teaspoon of vanilla. We're gonna mix that up with a new spatula. It's candied already. It's sticky, sticky. Some hot candy. So really start. Mixing it good so that butter gets in with the candy part. And now we're going to put it back in the microwave for two more minutes. Here we go. Make sure you use your hot holder because it's good and hot. <coughs> Two more minutes. Now when it comes out, this next time we're going to add the baking soda and it's going to just fizz up like crazy. We're going to pour it directly in the pan. You're going to mix it really fast and pour it in the pan. See you in a second. It's only going to be like a minute and a half. We're on the countdown. Boy. That smells so good, don't it, Chris? Oh my gosh, now that butter's in there. Woo, it smells good. Now the butter's in it. Now we're gonna add a teaspoon and a half of baking soda, and we're gonna have to stir it really fast and pour it into our pan. See how it foams? That is a good looking peanut brittle. We don't have a lot of cleanup and mess. And we will show you, get it all out. And really, this is not hard to clean up because it's got so much butter in it. We're gonna spread it out a little bit. That is gonna be good, y'all. So, we're gonna let the candy set up and cool down. Y'all don't put cold water in that really hot glass bowl, okay? Be careful with that. Now, here's some of the candy before the butter had been stirred in good. It was on my spatula. That was just on my spatula. Before, it's right after we added the butter, before the butter cooked in there. And it's really, really good. But now, I'm gonna taste some right off the spatula after the butter cooked in, after the final two minutes. And you're gonna be able to see a difference because this one has the baking soda. 
This one's more clear, but now it looks more like peanut brittle with the baking soda. Mmm. Just delicious. We will see y'all when it's time to break it up and store it. Okay, it is time to get out this candy and break it up and put it in a storage jar. Are y'all ready? I'm going to flip it out, hopefully, on my chopping block. I'm hoping it comes out. Looks good. And it should already start to break for you. So what you're going to do is you're just going to break it. It's got a lot of butter in it. Into pieces and store it. Now, I like to use a wide mouth jar because... A wide mouth jar, you can actually reach in and get you a piece. You can also make this for Christmas presents, birthday presents. And it should fill up a couple of jars. So we're going to get this jar filled up. And then we're going to taste some. My favorite part of the video. Let me rinse my hand off. Okay, so once that candy is hard and sets up, you can go ahead and crack it and flip it out. It should only take a few hours. We're going to put a lid on this. You can get these nice storage lids on our website, but look what a nice gift that is. And you could even put a piece of cloth um, on the top. I'm going to show you what I mean. Like this, if you want to re use a ring lid. This is actually some sand plum. Isn't that what she called it? Yeah, I believe so. This is actually sand plum jelly that uh, the viewer that visited Rhonda Butler made, and she left us some, so I'm excited to try that. But there you have it. Let's give it a try. The bad thing about making peanut brittle is you want to eat it. And you can't really keep your <laughs> hands out of it because it's so good. Look at that. Don't that look good? I have to say, that if you were going to give me a choice, which one to pick up, and you gave me Divinity, and you gave me Fudge, and you gave me Peanut Brittle, I would pick the Peanut Brittle every time. And it's something hardly anybody makes anymore, and it's so easy. You've got to try this microwave recipe. You'll be so pleased. And you know what? This is better than getting cookies for Christmas. It lasts longer. So, thanks so much for watching Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. Bye, y'all. Love ya.